Welcome back. You know, today's staycation takes us on a trip to Virginia's eastern shore. Did you know that Cape Charles is on the National Register of Historic Places? It holds bragging rights as one of the largest concentrations of turn-of-the-century buildings on the East Coast. And then there's the beach, the art community, and yes, the wine. It's a beautiful little town on the bay. You've got something for everybody. Welcome to Chatham. Just a sample of what you may hear when visiting Cape Charles and other parts of Virginia's eastern shore. The beaches are vast and uncrowded. And for your budget, take note of this. Parking is free, leaving you to spend only your time. But they've started to peel the paint off, paint off here, and you can see the old Coca-Cola I know, it? isn't that cool? I mean, right a short walk from the water takes you to the center of town. Andy Dunton is our guide. He grew up here. You've got scenery, you've got history, and one of the things that really draws everybody to the west every evening is you've got probably the most beautiful sunset you'll see anywhere. A lovely stroll in historic downtown fills your senses with a vibrant variety of shops, restaurants, and galleries. <laughs> Lilia Shepard is a welcoming host at the Lemon Tree Gallery. Every inch of space is filled with art, jewelry, and handcrafted pieces from local artists. This is a 92-year-old man who I comes in and does it. these. it. And there's a secret box. I think you take these away. Mm -hmm and you pull this out, <gasps> and there's a secret past. How wonderful. <laughs> now, my granny would have loved this. She would have stuffed all of her money in there. <laughs> I am so rooted in the arts. My life and my world and my love and the passion is in the arts. And so I've hopefully created a nice environment for people to come and enjoy the arts. Next door is the historic Palace Theater. The venue will host its 10th annual Experimental yeah, Film Festival yeah. this month. <laughs> Filmmakers from around the globe will inhabit the town to shoot on this landscape and then feature their films at this restored Art Deco venue. Bringing artists from all over the world to spend two weeks really intensively working together, collaborating, and discovering this place, and then making short films that all happen in and around Cape Charles. Hey, just when you thought it couldn't get better, feast your eyes on this. Up the road from Cape Charles is Chatham Vineyard. The focus is on farming, producing premium wine grapes. History buffs will appreciate the history of this land, which has been working as a farm for four centuries. And people love these flights because when you pick up the glass, you can see the description. So for Rosé, it says strawberry, watermelon, bright. John is a second generation wine grower. Together with his wife, Mills, they've transformed this land as a mix of farming and vineyard since 1999. No doubt the wine is the featured star. Visitors have the option of tasting the wine, served outdoors in nature's elements and then learning how nature, the soil and location play a role in the overall experience. We're really capturing the flavors of the land so people can come to Virginia's Eastern Shore and actually taste place. Do you hear that? You can actually taste the place, right? And it's just a short drive over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, and you can enjoy all Cape Charles has to offer. We have a series of staycation segments for your consideration on our website, WTKR.com. It really is a 